you all share is that you approach your work with deep intention. And you've all done a lot of thinking about your creative practice in a way that we really appreciate and admire. We hope that this is a super inspiring experience for you in a place that we don't think could be better in terms of considering creativity and purpose. Compared to when we first started curating immersions, we're in a whole different cultural, psychological, economic world. The context has shifted dramatically. Back then, we weren't on Zooms all day. We weren't spending all of our time in digital environments. Whereas now, that's our main mechanism for working and collaborating. And this is a rare luxury of having some time to not only be in real space and time with one another and share with one another, but to reflect, which is something that we're really missing every day. That's how I've always wanted to live, right? That's, that's why I'm here. I wrote in this uh, soak in the soul place. That's, that's my intention. I love finding connections. Connections between people, place, progress, ideas, the natural world, any connections, right? It's my intention to find the threads to manifest into something beautiful. A lot of us are kind of at an inflection point of career or choices or there's this moment of tension of what happens, what's been happening and what happened next. And how do we approach that to be as open as possible to what that might look like? And it's not necessarily prescribed, but there's a whole lot of threads we can pull on to make yeah. this happen. It seems like Oaxaca is at this pivotal moment, and I think a lot of places are, but there's new growth, and how do we learn from the past and precedent, and how that sets us up for the future. I think it's like a constant challenge for many cities and places, so really storytelling through place and hearing from everybody else. And there's much that you can take away and learn from what Oaxacan producers are doing and apply it to your own work.